Uh, I got a job, though, when I was unemployed. Before I went to uni, I had a job. Uh, I worked on a building site. Has anyone worked as a laborer? No, no, no unemployed, no laborers, no. Has, have any of you done anything in your whole life <laughs> besides watch comedy? <laughs> now, I worked as a laborer, right? I hated that, man. I remember my first day as, as a laborer, and, like, I was shitting it because I went on the site, and so I don't like to judge people by appearance, but these guys, they look like the kind of guys who the World Cup finished time ago and their profile picture is still an England flag. <laughs> and I'm like, uh. But I was wrong. I was the dickhead. They were super nice. They were proper nice. There was this guy, is your profile picture an England flag? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> like, Fuck you. England's great. Brexit means Brexit. But, <laughs> I'm just, but the, nah, these guys are super nice. There was this guy called Brian in particular, right? And Brian was like so cool. Like he made me feel so welcome. We could tell I was nervous. And he was like, I'll look after you, mate. I'll show you what to do. I was like, Brian, I'm a laborer. I'll pick stuff up from there. I'll put it over there. <laughs> I think I'll be all right. But it was cool though. He was nice. And then we sat on the first day. We're like sat on the wall eating lunch, looking over the building site. And he's eating his ham sandwich. I'm drinking a cup of tea. And he just turns to me and he goes, so Khalid. Are you a Paki or a coon? <laughs> he did not skip a beat. He just went, I'm Brian. I'm a nice guy. Paki or a coon? What are you? <laughs> and I was like, here's the thing, though. He was such a nice guy before that. And he said it so casual that I just answered the question. <laughs> I was like, Paki. <laughs> it's like a week later. I'm watching Match of the Day. I'm like, come on, man. Pass the Wait a minute. <laughs> that was racist. <laughs> I wasn't even mad at him, though, because I was like, you know what? He's just stupid. Like, he didn't even know. Like, that was just him being like, where are you from? Like, that's what he was doing in his head. I don't even think he knew he was being racist. And, like, I get mad at, like, proper, like, under the, under the cover, like, crazy. Like, I had a letting agent, and, uh, and she was, I worked out right, because she was being really awkward with me. And I couldn't work out what it was. So I Googled her. I found her Twitter. And her Twitter was, like, half it was, like, going to bingo with the girls. And then the other half was like, Sharia law is taking over Britain. <laughs> and I was like, oh, she thinks I'm Muslim and she's angry about it. So I was like, right, how am I going to deal with this? Because she can make my life awkward because she's my letting agent. So I thought, this is what I did, right? I sent, and I'll just, I'll just, I sent her an email and I'll read you the email. And then you can tell me if you think I did the right thing or if, I don't know, I should have like, kicked her or something. <laughs> but um, slap's a bit harsh, but a kick, maybe. Um, so this is the email that I sent her, right? So the email says, dear Jane. That's her real name, by the way. Fuck her, I don't give a shit. I'll tell you a surname if you want. You can Google her. Dear Jane, Salam Alaikum. <laughs> I will be happy to send you the end of lease fee, but unfortunately, I cannot send it today as it is Friday, the Muslim holy day. <laughs> and I am forbidden from sending financial transactions under Sharia law. I would have my girlfriend send it, but unfortunately, she is a woman. <laughs> Peace be upon you, Khalid Winter. P.S. I will not be able to answer emails for a few days as I am visiting Mecca <laughs> to protest. <laughs> because Muhammad hates bingo. 